How's it going guys? It's James here and we're back. I bet you weren't expecting to see me so soon already. It just so happened that we managed to smash through some of the uh, icon swap objectives in the afternoon faster than I was expecting to. So I thought this was the next milestone to put out. Why not get it out as soon as possible? First off though, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to all you guys subscribers, all new. This weekend has been absolutely mental. Obviously, we dropped the squad builder showdown. Uh, with Andy on the Saturday and we've gained like 14, 15,000 subscribers since then in like two days. It's been absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for the support. I hope I can continue to bring more content for you guys to watch like this Road to Glory. Which brings us to today. As you can see by the title, we have managed to bag ourselves the first icon of the team. It's through the icon swaps I thought which one of our positions could use some work and is also good value for money? Because obviously there's the things like the, the Bruchigueno, Owen, Crespo, Sanchez, these kind of things, but they cost maybe a bit too much for how much you're getting back. So what we decided to settle on is the Nesta. Now, let me tell you, the league, <laughs> the first owner league earned team took me absolutely forever like i'm not joking it took me like all of yesterday to do it i don't know whether i just didn't have good players from formation or whether i was just playing really bad or whether the players weren't very good but it took me forever and literally i smashed out the Serie A and la liga santander this afternoon uh, i think i lost one game on each so i did it in a total of eight games so i'm kind of relieved i wasn't expecting to get it done so so quickly as you can see on the screen here, we are opening up the packs from Marquee Matchups from last Thursday. A bit delayed, I know, but you know, we had a lot of content to sift through over the weekend. And the first packs, a massive stinker, we get Jose Fonte. Literally useless. Non-rare. I mean, we only were going to get one rare in that pack, but it happened to be a silver, which was kind of sad. But you know, we sell these guys on because at the moment we're trying to accrue enough coins. The aim of the game is to buy Hyung Min Son. We're now, like at the start of FIFA, I was like, I wanted to do a Road to Glory on Hyung Min Son. Oh my God, he's 450,000 coins. There's no way I'm actually going to be able to afford him. But now we're actually entering the territory where it's becoming a possibility. Like, I think if I finish my Bundesliga uh, first owner three rivals matches with the Mats Hummels and the Akanji that we packed on stream in our uh, Div Rivals rewards, we might be able to buy Hyung Min Son for the next episode. Maybe if we sell some of the other stuff in the club as well, let me know in the comments. Do you think I should do it or do you think I should just stick with the team that we've got uh, and sort of make our way from there? I mean, I'm not even bothering announcing these packs because as you can see, they're terrible. I mean, the guy's hair is fantastic, but the pack itself is diabolical. There's literally nothing in there for us. Um, yeah, the marquee match was, did not treat us very well this week, I must say. Like, these are some top quality packs, right? Like small prime gold players pack, jumbo premium gold players, rare electrum, premium gold players. Like you would expect something good, but really we kind of get a little bit shafted. Although having said that in some of the packs later, we do get some useful, useful packs because the thing about these packs, right? Was that I was just trying to keep everything I packed because this was on the Thursday before icon swaps dropped and we knew that they were going to be first owner objectives. And as you can see, playing Div Rivals nowadays, people are often using like a bunch of stinkers just because those are the only players that they've managed to pack and they're the ones that they have to play with to get the icon swap objectives. Um, and I think it's a really nice idea from EA. As you can see in the background here, we get our first board and it's a German striker from Leipzig. So it's obviously Timo Werner, who is very good. So this is another thing, right? So this is very, very good because it's first owner Bundesliga. And that's one of the objectives that I haven't yet done. Um, along with the Mats Hummels and Akanji and uh, Pavlenka that we packed from last episode. We can stick them all in the squad. That's already four first owner Bundesligas, only to get three more from somewhere in the club. And then you can make subs and whatever and make your teams and sell. And you can see he's worth a fair bit. He's worth like 40K. So if we finish the Bundesliga ones and we sell Werner, which is like 40K, sell a Kanji, which is another 30 or 20, I think. And then Matt Tummels is like 15 to 20 as well. That's nearly 100K that we can, well, it's not nearly 100K, it's more like 60 to 70. But it's, you know, it's a decent chunk of coins that we can stick in uh, or liquefy and then try and buy Hyung Min Son with. So next up, we have the Rare Electrum Players Pack. And inside is another board. 
It's an English player. It's a goalkeeper from Everton. So it's Mr. Pickford. 83 rated. Not bad. Again, you know, not, not a bad player. We uh, could use him in the... I think we used him in the Premier League one. No, we didn't. I think we used Kasper Schmeichel in the, uh, the Premier League uh, first owner matches. But, you know, nothing much else in this pack. We've got Schweinsteiger, who is uh, first, owner, first owner MLS, but we already have him. He's, we're currently using him to try and complete those... Uh, oh, we used him to try and complete the squad battles on World Class. I don't, I don't find squad battles too difficult on World Class. Like, it's it's more of a mental grind because it takes such a long time to complete them all, but it's not actually that difficult, I don't think. As you can see in this last pack, I was expecting big things, so I saved it for last. Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. Uh, Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack, even. Go, Mies. <laughs> oh, well. First owner players, they all go into the club for use in these objectives. A lot of players, in fact. Good luck. So many players, and they were all bad. It was actually unbelievable. I, I was I was proper shook, I must say. I was proper shook. But yeah, nothing there. However, we also managed to, because we're grinding so many squad battles, uh, squad battles rewards, we managed to get to Elite 2 of these squad battles. Just because we were doing so many world-class ones over and over and over again all weekend. And so you can see here, we got, you know, some very nice rewards. We got two mega packs a premium gold players pack and also the rare gold pack for pre-ordering the game as well so you know a lot of packs to open open the mega pack first then we'll see what we get inside so we managed to get a walkout in the first one it's very good french center back manchester okay so it's laporte so we got laporte in our first just a mega pack even from squad battles rewards and these are all tradable which is great because i think we, we already bought laporte for the team um so we swap him out for so this is obviously now our first owner one we can swap him out for the one we bought and then we can use him in the first owner objectives so it's it's, it's great uh socrates here you know sells for a fair amount as well seven to eight thousand coins so there's all stuff that will bump up that bank account get Ike casillas 83 rated uh, Nacho Fernandez, who we do use in the La Liga Santander um, Div Rivals first owner teams, and just a bunch of player contracts and squad fitnesses that we just don't need anymore. Although I have heard actually that they are going to be patching out the fitness bug. So if you don't know, at the moment when you play online Div Rivals, you don't have to use any fitness on your players because there's a glitch in the game that they just start on full fitness and they don't drop out. And so you've got people like running 30 fitness teams who are still starting the game on full fitness and they're not like literally nothing. There's no consequences for doing that. So I think they're patching that out, which is good because at the moment, squad fitness, I mean, squad fitnesses used to have value. <laughs> at the moment, they have zero value. No one buys them because no one needs them. And in this next pack, we don't get anything, unfortunately. We get Zielinski. Uh, although he does feature later because he's the first owner Serie A player uh, and we'll be showing some of these Serie A games later. Uh, I would have showed the La Liga Santander games as well but it kind of bloats the video because it's already quite a, quite a hefty chunk of highlights that we'll be having because it's four games worth basically which is quite a lot. As you can see we've got two more packs. A premium gold players pack. That looks good to me. That looks like at least a board. It is a board, it's not a walkout. It's a Brazilian centre back from Suning. So that is Miranda, who recently went to the Chinese League. So that's good because Chinese League is one of the uh, one of the squad battles objectives I haven't done yet. So I do need to do that. So having first owner or just having Chinese Super League players is always gonna be good for that. And finally, the rare gold pack. Mix of players and consumables, all rare but we don't get anything. We get, what do we get? I can't remember. We got our, we got our, I guess. I mean, fine. <laughs> so here you can see the Serie A team that we are rocking. So the first owner ones, obviously Alexis Sanchez, Insigne, Lozano, Pastore, and then the whole of the defense was all first owner. The only players we bought were Dries Mertens and um, Allen for our you know, first team. And here you can see we uh, start off a game against a decent Bundesliga team, but Herving Lozano opens his account straight away with a 
like slow, a really, really slow P-roll it into the bottom corner. And what better just to dab on the guy. Uh, pick it up again with Mertens. Mertens is my guy. Lovely bit of skill, but unfortunate to get it def uh, blocked rather. Just loads of blocking. This game is just literally all blocks most of the time, isn't it? Uh, and then for some reason, I have no idea what happened. In when I was playing the game, I was so confused. And apparently Sula had kicked someone in the legs uh, and ref thought penalty. I psyched him out. I faked the left to right. I just went straight down the middle. He dives the wrong way and we score another goal. Only 16 minutes in, it's already 2-0. Dries Mertens picking up another one for himself. Here you can see a good example of why I like, why I quite enjoy playing with the 4-2-4 this afternoon. It's a very good counter-attacking team. You've got a lot of presence up front. Um, and you can really split open the defenders. I mean, he's not playing very well. He sort of just steps up and gives him loads of space. And if you give Insigne this much space, he's just going to score against you. Simple as that. 3-0, 25th minute. I mean, this guy's had enough, hasn't he? The 4-2-4 is very good for having that split between or moving fast build-up from the back through to the front. This guy rage quits and we move on to the next game. So this guy's got a decent team. You can tell he's probably going for the first owner, uh, La Liga Santander objective he's got uh, his lone Militao in as well so now this goal it, this goal may be the best goal I've ever seen on FIFA 20 so far as you can see here he does a chip through ball Lozano heads it down to himself and then just boots into the net like I I, <laughs> I don't know what I could have done <laughs> I tried to press clear like I was spamming clear um, and he just wouldn't get it away and here again similarly I was with Mertens I tried to head it down to my right center mid but again Something funky is going on in this game, you know, like something is just going wrong. What can you do? Sometimes those games do happen, but we do pick up a counter goal here. Dries Mertens smashing it, or not even Dries Mertens rather. It was a Pastore, I believe, smashing it into the top bins. And Dries Mertens finishes that nicely into the top corner with the classic Umtiti walk celebration. Unfortunately, he pulls it back with a very nice bit of FIFA uh, and the game ends there at 3-2. So that was the game we lost with... <laughs> With that, <laughs> with that Lozano own goal and that Mertens head back. Another guy, so this is, this is the thing, right? We're playing against a lot of people who are trying to complete these objectives. So they're using suboptimal teams or just players that you wouldn't usually see. Makes some nice play through there and Insigne smashes that one into the top corner. So 1-0 in the 12th minute. Uh, we're, having, we're having a bit more luck. Like one of the, one of the problems I'm having in FIFA 20 is that I'm bad at the game. Uh, I had a terrible weekend for foot champs. I think we came silver one in the end. We properly bottled it towards the end. I think we needed to win two out of four, and we just lost three in a row. Like it was one of those one of those days. I was playing till quite late just because I wanted to get them done on the Saturday so I could do other stuff on the Sunday. But in hindsight, maybe it wasn't a good idea. But you live and you learn. There, this is just something I need to get better at. It's just playing the game so I mean a really slow back heel manages to make it through and look it's a nice nice play but I would expect someone to keep on top of that but it's 2-1 and that's the second victory out of the three that we need to pick up that next icon swap player so this guy's got a really nice team actually so you can see he had some he had some decent luck in his foot champs he got his Gomez and he got uh, Triore as well his defense looks awful other than the Triore. So I think he's I think he was trying to do the first owner BPL BPL team. So you can say on the break again, Herving Lozano cuts inside, Pastore slots in bottom corner. Excellent play on the wing there from Herving Lozano. Who's surprisingly cheap, actually. I think he's sub 10k. Uh, mainly mainly because I think his um, obviously he's got his one to watch card which isn't improved, so it's basically the same, so it's sort of driving his normal card price down. Um, and so here we gave away a penalty. It was a bit of an iffy one, similar to the one which we or had given to us uh, a few games prior, but we can see he's going left. We dive that way, and Pepe Reina makes a great save. Unfortunately here, there's a bit of sloppy play for myself, so this is the thing I do need to improve on, it's just sometimes I make a lot of mistakes. Unlucky there from Inkudu, he does make the block. And unlucky again here from Reyna, he palms up and Immobile gets it. So, it's, so that goal was sort of half me being really bad and half being unlucky. But, you know, you can't, you can't stop being unlucky, but you can stop making mistakes like that. We pick up the ball with Mertens, spreads it through, back to Mertens, and then smashes it home into the near post. Mertens and Insigne, a deadly duo. I use them obviously in my normal team, and they were very, very helpful in helping me win these games in the Serie A. 
icon swapped objectives. Here the guy picks it up in, oh, I remember this, so he picks it up with Gomez and just sort of lobs it, just lobs it deftly into the top corner. And I was very confused watching, I was like, when he hit the ball, I thought, oh, that's, that's a goal kick. And then it sort of just like dipped slowly and just went into the top corner. A nice goal, a bit confusing. I'd not seen an animation like that before, but you know, goal's a goal. Here we make some great play from that guy, Zielinski, who we packed earlier. He makes a very good run straight through the middle. Good link up play from Insignia and Mertens again, and Zielinski picks up the win for us. So that's the 3-2 win. And you know, that's the last game that we needed to play. And now we have nine foot swap, icon swap players to put in for this Alessandro Nesta. And we've picked up the first icon of the Road to Glory. Look at him. That is magnificent. Oh, he's a very good card as well. Very good in the meta at the moment. The only one better than him from the selections would obviously be from the centre-back's point of view is Baby Rio just because he's got a lot more pace. But he's very expensive and I think it's better to just get Nesta in the bank and then maybe buy some icons later if we pick up some more coins. So look at these stats. It's got 72 acceleration. And look at those defending stats, 90 defending, 95 interceptions, 90 defending awareness, standing tackle, slide tackle, both 89. His stamina could use a bit of work, it's only 68, but he's got masses of strength. And he's only a centre back, so he's not going to be running around too much, hopefully. So here we have the team. This is what we are rocking with at the moment. I do have plans, obviously, to get Hyomin Song. We've got 356,000 coins exactly at the moment before selling all the other players and you know let me know in the comments down below should i sell out my club should i try and just smash out these bundesliga wins sell everything in the bundesliga team like the timo werner the M mats hummels the akanji and try and buy hyungmin song for the next episode anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed the video like and comment subscribe if you're new around here let me know down in the comments should i Buy the Hyunwin Song? Should I sell out my club and buy it? Is he that good? I've not I've not had a you know chance to play with him yet, but apparently he's really meta. He's always popping up in foot champs and then div rivals. So I, I do really want to. I mean that was meant to be the marquee man for this road to glory. I hope to be able to keep continuing to make content for you guys, and I hope you guys continue to show your love and support. Thank you very much for all the love over the weekend, and I will see you guys later. Peace.